All right, so inside of this video, I'll be trying to basically decide for you, is Ninja Closed Community worth it? Because if you guys don't know, this game is going into Closed Community for about a month or two. And I'll just, I'll just lay it out right here. The only way to get Closed Community for this game is to win one of their giveaways, win a content creator giveaway, because content creators do get an actual decent amount of um, spots to give away, or spend a hundred dollars so there's, those are the only ways to get in right so if you're not a content creator if you're not friends with a content creator or if you're not insanely fucking lucky to win the giveaway the general masses of you are not getting access to this game because a hundred dollars is diabolical all like i always 100 percent honest with you guys do not spend a hundred dollars on this game a hundred dollars for this game is fucking insane now, is it a great game with some of the best bosses, some of the best combat, some of the best everything for Roblox? Yes. But notice how I said for Roblox? That was for good reason. With $100, you can buy the brand new Call of Duty. $100, you can buy Sekiro and Elden Ring. You can buy a lot of games with $100 that are going to be better than any Roblox game or any Roblox game in the very near future either. Like, even better than, like, dude, we know Roblox is fucking ass. Let's be honest, Roblox is not good in terms of actual game quality for example rail season holy war even those names i would not spend a fucking hundred dollars for right like you are kind of tweaking out of your mind unless your bill dates him fucking self to spend a hundred dollars on the game hey if you want to go ahead right but me personally there's way better shit to buy with a hundred dollars right okay so that's the first thing if you're one of those people that are debating spending a hundred dollars right now just don't okay because in two months time or even a month's time the game will release for paid access, which is only going to be 400 robots or 800 robots. And the only downside that you have compared to the other people that spent money is, you know, they have experience on the game. And keep in mind, this is why that that right there is the reason why it's going into uh, close community first is because, yeah, the game needs one or two months to be worked on because it I mean, it's in a very good spot right now. They could release it for paid access right now, but then they would just get review bombed because, um, there's definitely bugs in this game right now, right? Some of the shit does not work, okay? I'll be 100% honest. Some of the shit doesn't work. Some of the shit needs balancing. It, A lot of it needs reworking. They're apparently going to rework all the moves in the game and all the maps. Like, they actually have a lot of work to do. So, it does make sense. That being said, it is kind of unfortunate because this is probably the peak hype for the game. And, you know, you guys are stuck waiting a month or two. Um, I will say this. I'll have a lot of content for the game. Um, I'll have a lot of stuff for the game, right? But, at the same time, like, $100 is not worth it, okay? For any game. I'll be 100% honest, like, it's not worth it for any game on Roblox. Maybe off of Roblox it's worth it, but on Roblox, no. It's not gonna be worth it, okay? Like I said, unless if you really want to spend that money. Because you could also just join my Discord, join the other content creators' Discords, and pray that you win their giveaways. They have content creators in here with, like, 1k subs. Their Discords are only going to have, like, 40 people. You can just join their Discord and pray that you win. If not, join the next person's server. Like, it is going to be kind of easy to get access, and they're doing giveaways when they get a lot of members, right? But at the same time, $100? No, I don't think anybody should spend $100, especially... Not when it's going to be inside a tester phase. They say close to immunity, but they really mean a tester phase, right? The tester phase will basically just be like, oh, hop in game, test this new thing that we just added, and tell us things that we should do to balance it. It's going to be like that, all right? Which you might think is cool, but it does get very stale after, you know, you balance like two to three things, and then you realize you're kind of just balancing the game for free. Um, now if that's what you want to do, yeah, you get access to a game a month or two early. Once when it does paid access, you'll instantly be better than everybody else, which is going to be really, really nice. But I just don't think that's worth a hundred dollars. I don't think being better than someone early at a video game, because keep in mind, like you might just be better than them for like a week, because I'll be honest, this game does not take long to learn at all. So you'll probably be better than the general population for like a week, and then you'll just max levels super fast. Like I might even say it might be better as an ex as a gameplay experience to play the game two months later because you will play a much better polished game. You'll be able to play with all your friends because let's be honest, not all your friend groups are getting in for close immunity. Either they won't have the $100 or they just won't win that giveaway. 
you'll be able to play with all your friends. There will be way more people on this game. Keep in mind, it is a PvP game, so you do want a lot of people on the game. It, it's just going to be a better experience overall, right? Because, like I said, it will only take you like a week to learn this game, right? So, really, buying $100 paid access just to be better than people when it releases, because keep in mind, close community is being wiped as well. So, literally, the only thing that you're gaining is the experience of playing the game. That's all that you're gaining. You will be better than everybody else. That's really all that you're gaining for $100. Compared to, if you just wait two months, you can play this game with all your friends, make a guild, do all that, join the guild, because there will still be guilds in CC, um, it, it's just going to be an overall better experience. The game will be more polished. Everything will be better. Um, it's just going to be better. Like for every single person watching this, two months from now, Ninja is going to be better than one week from now, Ninja. That's going to be pretty fucking obvious, right? So honestly, like you guys can see, bro. I can't even fucking climb right now. The game is literally not working. And I just randomly lost a death. I don't know if that's something on purpose, but I don't even fucking know anymore, right? This game, as good as a game as it is, it needs the two months to be even better. Um, but like I said, bro, like, this game could be too hard for you. The $10 might be too much for a lot of you guys as well. Because you're not going to enjoy this game if you're bad at video games, right? If you can't beat most Elden Ring bosses or even, like, the first Sekiro boss, you're cooked in this game. You're going to be stuck at level 35 forever because you get stuck at level 35 until you beat the first boss right if you suck at video games bro this is not a game for you okay like you might think oh no it's fine i'll just learn the game no no that's not how it fucking works for games like this right you can't just sit there and learn the game if you're bad you're bad right because either you'll be bad in pvp or you'll be bad in pve and then you'll be stuck at level 35 or you'll just wipe all the time because if you're stuck in p if you're bad in pvp you wipe after 20 deaths. Now, you can lose some deaths. I don't know exactly how. Um, but yeah, bro. It's just like... There is just more reasons not to spend $100 than there is to spend $100. Now, if you win a giveaway or something, cool. Great. Amazing for you, right? But this is to the general population that is not going to win a giveaway. Because let's be 100% real. 99% of the people watching this video right now aren't going to have access to this game within the next week. Um, now, I will be giving away a lot of spots, like I said, but I can only give away so many spots, right? I can't give you guys all tester. Um, so, the best thing to do, in my honest opinion, wait the two months, bro. You guys will find a game to hold you off for two months. Shoot, most of you guys might even forget about this game, right? And then you'll see a lot of videos saying that, you know, paid access released, and then you'll be chilling. You'll spend $10, you'll play a fully polished game, and you'll actually fucking enjoy it, right? That is what I recommend to do. Now, who knows? Maybe they go on a fucking rant about me in this video and fucking remove my access. You know, fucking remove me as content trader. Quite frankly, I don't really care, right? Because I can just buy the game on an alt account. If they, like, blacklist me or whatever. I don't think they will. Um, because, honestly, I don't think they really care. I think most of them would even fucking agree with this video. Because I think that's what they want. I think that is why they're limiting CC to so little amount of people. Because they want people to wait until it's a way better game. They would rather their game have longevity than just have a lot of hype and a lot of players. Um, you know? They would rather prefer longevity. So, I would just wait the two months. Wait the two months, buy the game, and you're good. That's going to be it for this video. You guys can leave your own thoughts inside the comments. Because $100 is fucking diabolical work. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah. I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow. Um, the next video I post will probably be Deep Ocean or Demon Hunter. Uh, but if you guys have other games, you know, leave them inside the comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.